Well, for this last programme in the present series of Go Fishing, we've returned to Ireland. And we're here at Mullahenge in Northern Ireland to fish this lovely little river, the Agavi, for the king of them all, the salmon. Trouble is, it's a spate river, and right now there's not an awful lot of water in it, but there may just be one or two fish in the pools further upstream, so we're going to give it a bit of a go. Who knows? Well, in this short couple of hundred yard walk upstream here, it's already starting to rain. But before me here is a favourite local salmon lie. Across the far bank there, it's very slow for a, a salmon run, but then of course the, the water's so low at the moment, we're not going to expect much more. The fly I've got on, been given by the local tackle dealer, it's a Bert Atkins special. Let's just get a little bit cast a bit wet there and get one across. And they say they lie in the, across the far bank there. I'm actually encouraging movement myself with this, as, just as though I was reservoir trout fishing, because there's very little movement in the river itself. One more pull and we should be on that far run next pull without getting caught up. Although the water's peaty, I can't... Yeah, I can just about make out the fly there. Nothing following there. That's better. I just think if one does come up here, it's all of a sudden going to appear on the surface. And I'm going to be tempted into striking too early. Let's try an odd one upstream. That's lovely. Oh, this rain's coming down now. Should have brought the waterproofs. No. Right, let's try a couple down the run. Oh, that's lovely. There's a few twigs sticking out there and I don't want to get caught on them. Oh, it's really grim now. Ah. <laughs> I, was, I was on a twig on the far bank and I just felt a slight sensation there. No, it flies clean. Not even a little brownie. Well, at least the rain's easing off a bit now, but I'm, I'm feeling a bit damp. I think I'm going to give it another couple of casts, and then I think I'm going to go down the road and have half a Guinness or two, <laughs> or three. Every now and again I get a little wild brownie follow, but the salmon just aren't having any, and I don't blame them. Right, I'm going to make this my last cast. Nope. Well, it's been a very pleasing little pool to fish this. I know there's fish here because we've seen them. No doubt I shall... Oh, my knees are killing me. Come again sometime. I really would like to fish this river when the water's up. 
when it's in a good old spate. I bet there's a lot of fish moving through here. Well, here we are. We're on the river van at Carn Row, the best spot in Northern Ireland for salmon fishing. And it's a lovely, it really is. I don't think I've ever stood in the middle of a lovely, lovelier weir before. It was a wise move coming here after the Agivi, that little spate river that didn't have any water in it. We didn't really stand much chance at all. But here, I think we're going to catch fish. A nice line out there. Got two flies on. Traditional out this way to, to use two flies. One on a six inch dropper about three foot above the point. It's coming around nicely. Oh, I thought we were in there, but I think that had gone down a bit too much. A little bit more line out. It's coming round nicely. Bit of a tricky job wading across this weir in this fast water here. It really is pushing through. Got a very fast run there, and there's another one there where that guy's fishing over there. And that's coming through. Oh, I thought I had a pull then. Perhaps I didn't. A little bit longer next time. That's about enough. And that's coming round just lovely now. It's right in the fast run. Keeping the rod fairly well up, just fishing the flies slowly through there. It's in the slower water now. Here we come. What a lovely spot to fish. If you hook a really big fish here, though, you need a lot of backing because it's just going to go right downstream. Every now and again, you see a, a fish make on the surface. Most of the fish in this pool at this time of the era grills in the six to nine pound range. But there's one or two bigger salmon in the 12 to 14. Got a bit too much line out there. It's coming around nice again. Strangely, there's no, no run of sea trout on this river whatsoever. It's just salmon. Below me there, where the river bends down, when it goes very deep, might do a bit of shrimping and spinning perhaps later on down there. There's even quite a good head of bream into the sort of seven pound range. It's a strange place to, to find bream. But then Ireland's a strange place for fishing. It's got unbelievable bull potential. Hello, we've got a bit of a tangle there, and that's something you, you can't afford to have when you're salmon fishing. One little tiny wind knot in the fly line itself and goes rattling through the rings and... Here we are! Ah! Missed that one. Should not have missed that one. That was a really good pull. Never mind. A little bit over eager there. A little bit over eager. Just didn't give it enough as it was coming round. This water's incredibly fast there. Very wearing on the legs after a while. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. Yes, we're in. <laughs> that fish leapt as it actually took it. That was incredible. Woo! I was just going to say there's a fish jumping and it was the one on my line. I'm going to have to be careful with this. Already I'm thinking where I'm going to net it. I'm not wading across there with this on. Whoa, that's a better fish. Come on, baby. I'm inclined to play freshwater fish, but I catch a little bit on the hard side. <laughs> so friends tell me. So I'm going to have to be careful with this, this salmon. There's such a lot of speed and such a lot of power. It's 
coming towards me, this fish. No, he's off again. Whoa! <laughs> this is a lovely fight, this is. The nice thing about a, a long salmon rod as opposed to a shorter one, you've got the support up here. You can stick the, the butt in your, in your belly and you can enjoy the fight. You've got a lot of flexibility. And if the fish suddenly decides to make a, <laughs> a run for it like that, you got, oh, that is a nice one. You've got plenty of go in the rod there to let it go. This has suddenly woken up and it's decided to rip off 30 yards of line and it's going downstream. Here we go. He's coming in again. <laughs> I hope that flies in well. I'm using the, the two fly set up here that all the locals use. Two size eight trebles. Called the band special. Tied locally by my old mate Bert Atkins and they certainly work Bert. There's no doubt about it. Right now, I think this is about the trouble is this fish isn't tiring, there's no doubt about it. I don't know whether to wade across that side or not. I don't know whether I'm going to get through that. That looks a bit deep to me. I'm going to have to stay here and fight it out here. Oh, I can see the dropper fly. It's taking the point. Oh, that is a good fish. Into double figures. Lovely. But it's not having any yet. Come on, slowly. Every now and again you get a, a fish, it might not necessarily be a monster, but it just tends to hang there and you, you get to a point where you don't put any more pressure on. And I've got a lot of, I'm really giving this a bit of teddy now, making a bit more line. But I don't know, I don't really want to give it any more than that. Oh, here it is. It's, I think it's got the, <laughs> the dropper fly caught round its tail and I'm, it's coming in tail first. Oh dear. <laughs> Come on. Yes, it is. How unceremonious for a salmon. Well, never mind. He just turned then on that last run and he must have got the, the dropper caught around his tail. Let's have a look. Yes, he has. It's a good fish though. Now then, I think it's going to, as soon as it sees me, it's going to make a bit of a, bit of a dive. You don't catch a lot of salmon tail first in this game, but... <laughs> no, he's, 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 he's having a bit of a wiggle again. Whoops. Because he can't really do anything else. Whoops. I've had a bit too much line now, he's off again. Ah, yes, the dropper's caught around his tail, so I'm going to have to bring him in tail first unless it frees. I was just making that point about the dropper catching on something, and of course there's nothing to stop it catching on the fish itself. Easy does it. It's a lot of pressure here. Ooh. This is not an easy thing to do. Ah, got him. <laughs> Just as I thought, the dropper flies caught round his tail root. No, it's, it's off now. It was only just in there. Very lucky with that. Only just in. And the, the, the point flies come out in the net. Look at that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Sunshine. I wasn't really too happy about landing you. I'm going to let this one go. Where you go. <laughs> I feel happy about that. Well, I've left the fly rod alone for a while. It's quite tiring on the arms and I've got my spinning rod. 
and I'm going to have a go along this run here. There's a nice deep edge to this east bank here, just off the end of the flush, and it runs all along this, this side. I've got one of these new French lures on that the, uh, the locals have a funny name for, but we call it the, the Flying Sea. It's quite large for, for salmon spinning, but we're going to give it a go. 11 pound line. up into the flush. It's very bumpy along here and it's very difficult to know the exact depths as this is my first day on this pool but we'll learn as we go. Now a lot of people would fish this perhaps differently, they would cast downstream and across and let the current carry it down. <laughs> There's a fish come out just there, it's ridiculous. Let's try that one. This is the traditional way to salmon spin. Not spin at all, in fact, let the current bring it round. And then when it comes into your own bank, then you can start retrieving. But it's not very deep out there and it's liable to get caught up immediately on the rocks. And apparently the salmon in this river like a fairly fast retrieve. So we'll see. That looks very, very good, that does. I'd take it if I was a salmon. Now I fly fish that, so I know that's only about four feet deep there. And it's fairly heavy, this spinner. I'm going to let it go down a bit and give it a few fast turns. It's, it's coming down fast anyway with the current. It's a rock then. Looks very good, that. I keep thinking about everyone's advice here locally about the, the salmon on this river seems to like it spun very fast. I'm sure this is enough just to keep that blade going. As long as I'm touching the, the occasional rock means I'm fairly well down. Let's have a couple down here. It's a good old flow here, but as I found wading the top of the weir, it's not that bad. If you can wade it, it in fact isn't too strong at all. The sort of power a fish has to impart on its tail when, it's, when you can only just wade the water isn't that much at all, it's surprising. Trying to keep upstream with those guys in the boats there. They don't seem to be having much joy trotting the shrimps down. I think I'm going to stay spinning for the moment. There's a couple of fish been taken further downstream spinning, so I think I'll stick with it. Let's go up again. In this river, there's also quite a few small brown trout. Every now and again, you, can, you get one about a pound, bang the spinner. And I noticed that they were skipping across the water for the flies too. But they're not really a problem. That's lovely. Very exciting spinning this, knowing any minute you're going to get the well, hopefully, hopefully any minute you're going to get the, the rod wrenched out of your hand and the way the line will go. We'll go right across the stream this time and up. Oh, I thought I'd got a touch then, but I hadn't. It was the stone. It's a noisy anchor. I'd change that to a rope if that was my boat. But of course it isn't, so I'd better shut up. Let's whack it right up into the, the end of the flush. 
Oh, I was on a rock then. That is shallow there. Let's try some fast retrieves because local advice is invariably the best advice. I bet they really slam into this with this current in the edge here being so fast. Let's have a couple across the current. Now that's quite shallow there. I'm going to bring that in a little. Now I'm going to let it come down a bit. It should be just above the bottom now. We'll spin that through. Well, at last! I don't know what sort of size it is. It's, oh, it's not a bad fish either. I'm shooting downstream. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's got some power. There we are. Hello, it's roll on the roll on the line. I'm not careful, I'm gonna rip the hook out of this. Go <laughs> Oh, it's great. I love to see him roll. It's terrific. I think I do play fish too hard, really, but I just enjoy it. If they come off, will they come off? Oh, it's rolled on the, on the lure there and got it wrapped around its head. They often do that when they, when they jump. Come on, gotcha! Yes! <laughs> well, that's not bad, is it? On the lure and the fly in one day, and that can't be bad. Oh! Right, oh, the line's all the way around it. Lovely fresh fish, look at that. Lovely fresh run salmon, look at that. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This, this is the, the second pull through here and I'm into a fish already. This band sure is a wonderful river. It doesn't feel like a bad fish too. It's keeping right over the other side there. I, I hope it's not going to go go past that other angler who's looking away. Woo! Here we go. Who's looking round at me. Here it is. No, it's not as big as I first thought. Looks about eight or nine. That really took that and shot across the current there. Here we go. This is a superb spot. Well, it was worth leaving the Agivi and the difficulties of a spate river without any water in it and coming to the ban here where the, the flows actually, the levels are, are controlled by the lock here. And so you've always got a good depth of water that's, that's really moving. Come on, baby, in you come. What I'm going to try and do is slowly move to the left, the right here, and get it into this, whoa, <laughs> and get it into this pool. Now, don't dip in here, Wilson, for goodness sake. Here we go. Oh, he's going into the pool himself. I put my net over there. I didn't really expect to get a fish this quickly. Right, let's see if we can manoeuvre him into this pool. It's a little bit slacker here, in fact it's very slack, it's part of the lock cutting system here and we'll play him from here. Come on. No, he's not that big at all. He's having a last minute thrash about. Going a bit berserk. Come on, he's tangled, whoops, tangled around the, the uh, other fly there. Yes, we got him. Woohoo! What about that? Absolute magic. Well, you're not often lucky when you're salmon fishing, but today, Lady Luck's been incredibly kind to me. Look at those. So beautiful fresh run salmon, lovely brace to end the program with and the series.
Thank you.